Hello Karen. I know it's been some time since I've recorded any of this, but it's taken me a long while to get around the idea of um, the 16 the 16 page ROMs. And some of them can be RAMs. I think that's the bit that I struggled with the most here. That's the reason why I haven't really been able to get my head around what you've actually asked me to do. But I think I've got the hang of it. So as far as getting through to the Hobbit program is concerned, here we go, right? There's your Hobbit stuff. I'm just going to load the, the Hobbit file there, that ROM file, into one of the memories, into one of the sockets. See, that, that's what I couldn't understand. It sounds so simple to you because you, you've been doing it quite a long time, but to me, that idea, what, what, what that is all about, it's, it's, for a long while it's just been mind-blowingly difficult to understand. Now I can sort of see it's one of the 16 possible page things you can have, and, and it's just not, you know, my phone can, can be RAM, whatever. That's hard for me to understand. But it's taken that long for me to understand that, right? And the control break will make the computer detect what's available, right? So that should now be detected as available. I understand. Start again. And uh, run the command that's now off the bomb, right? You can't actually see it from here, but the, the, the shift lock light is blinking. I think that's done by the MMC card. To tell you that it's loading something. So we've got as far as this, I think this is where, how I understand we got there, right? So we're going to say yes, and yes, and we, we're looking like we're really going for it here, you know? Um, it, it's loaded obviously some of it. Um, I don't know all of it, but it's definitely gone for some. Uh, as far as I know, I, I, that's, a, that's the limit of what I know. Now, I, one thing I do know is it doesn't get through to the pictures like the emulator version does. So for example, once I'm here, I suppose I had to press a key, nothing happens. I don't know if that's normal. Probably not normal because all the way we've done it, I don't know. But it's basically locked up here. But I can't continue anymore after that. But it's got that far. Right. Right, so next thing. What is actually in the 16 slots? You know, we need to have a look at this situation now. So that, that's the bit that I was trying to struggle with to understand. I can kind of progress beyond that. Uh, okay, so I've done as you wanted. I put uh, some software utilities in this disk here, drive zero, to have a look at what's in the RAM. I don't know which one's supposed to run, right? But you said our test. Uh, I mean, which version? What I mean is. What I meant to say is what version of the, the running of the, of the Hobbit I'm supposed to run, but this is the one that was manually started, and I'm going to run that test, the, e, the R test, optionally, optional here. So this is now going to go for the uh, checking out what's in the RAMs, what's in the, in the, in the 16 pageable slots, as soon as we run. It takes a little while to run for some reason. Here we go. Page 8 on start. Ram A pass. Ram B something. It does mean a lot to me. I can see two rams have passed. It doesn't seem to say what, that's, it, that, that's what it tells me, that I just run it, you know, you, you can probably rewind it anyway. But that, I think, just to be on the safe side, just let it run one more time, just so we're absolutely sure, because what I'm going to try afterwards, I'm going to try doing it the, the automatic way it's supposed to start, and see if it's any different. Page 89, still post 9, not enable, RAM A pass, RAM B, MT, C, basic. DDFS, ERAM passed, F empty. So that gives you the idea. So hopefully now, I should be able to just try, try 
like from start, from, from nothing. Control brake, I'm going to try a hard reset. if it was run by the shift brake method, right? So this is what we got to before the bad commands, blah, blah, blah. This, I'm just going to show you what is PSWR percent is two. And now I'm going to go to, so it's using two banks, let's say, as you told me. Now I'm going to run this. Then five. Let's see what's in here. Uh, no, it's actually not. Seven. Right. This is what I'm getting a bit strong. Okay, I think I might have to kind of boot it like this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can start booting like this. What's, what's actually on here now, then? Now that we run it the normal way. It's going to try and tell me what is what is going on, which will hopefully feed you what you want, hopefully, as soon as it starts. Fingers crossed. You let me pass. So Ram A and Ram F, Ram E is passed. So it seems to indicate it's getting up there, but that's as far as I can see. Well, thanks, I think that's about it. I, I, that's the limit of what I understand. It seems to have some RAM in the, well, some of the stuff that's in the 16 slots. And it says it's passed. Don't mean much to me. But it seems to feel that it's passed. In A and uh, in E. Right? And other than that, it's not installed, 9 is not enabled. Uh, some of them are empty. Okay, that's about the limit of what I am. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Kim. Bye.